It's time for Dark Shadows with that scary dude vampire Barnabas Collins and the best love story around between Quentin and Angelique. Oh, yeah. Dark Shadows. soap operas with my grandmother when I was 10 years old. I was only 17 when I started watching All My Children. I had just gotten married. I've been a huge Days of Our Lives fan for pretty much all my life. I started with, watching with my mum when I was about three or four years old and it's continued on from there. I've been watching The Young and the Restless now for about 20 years. I started watching when I was younger when I was with my grandma when I was out of school. And I was hooked immediately. Me and my guy friends used to sit around during the day this is, we had nothing to do. We'd sit around during the day and we'd each pick a soap opera that we loved. And we would watch all of these soap operas and then we'd compete. We'd argue against each other which one was the best one. I love the pairing of David and Kara more than any other couple I watched on All My Children. I have my own fan page for them that I've put over a hundred pictures on. Bo and Hope are the ultimate fairy tale. They're the love that every girl wants to have. And as long as they're around, I'll still be a Bowen Hope addict. My favorite soap storyline will always be my very first soap storyline. I started watching The Young and the Restless during the summer of 1993, so I was only 13 years old when I first met Victor Newman. The thing I love about daytime drama is that you can tune in and it's an escape from everyday reality and everyday trials and troubles you may be going through. And even at 12 years old, I thought to myself, this is a really ridiculous storyline. But the next day I tuned in, and the day after that, because I wanted to see if John and Marlena would be reunited. And 16 years later, John and Marlena are still my favorite soap opera couple, and I'm still watching Days of Our Lives. That was nearly 20 years ago, and I'm still watching.